Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at is problems involving geometry. This comes from problems 28 through 32 on the final review. Okay, the first thing that we're going to look at is the funky figure. So we're going to go ahead and find the perimeter and the area. So for perimeter, the first thing we need to do is find the lengths of the missing sides by subtracting the shorter parallel side from the longer side. After that, we're going to add all the sides together. So what do I mean by that? So what we have here is, for instance, this top piece plus our six centimeters needs to equal the same length down on the very bottom. These are all related together because they are all going side to side. So if we subtract 10 minus 6, we get that our top piece is going to be 4 centimeters. Similarly, for our side right here, the ones that go up and down are related. So we want to subtract 9 minus 2 and we get seven centimeters. So now if we go ahead and add up all of our sides, we get four plus seven plus six plus two plus 10 plus nine. Again, no calculators on the test. So I'm going to go ahead and combine my 4, my 6, and my 10. I get 20. We get 7. Plus 2 is 9. Plus 9 is 18. And if we add that together, we get 38. Include our correct units. We have 38 centimeters. Okay, to find the area, the first thing I want to do is cut this into two pieces. So for instance, the top rectangle, how do we find the area of the top rectangle? We're going to multiply the length times the width. So we get four times seven. For my bottom rectangle, we're going to multiply the dimensions of that. We have 10 by 2. So if we multiply, we get 28 plus 20, and this is equal to 48 centimeters and remember that area has square uten, square units. All right, so that takes care of our funky figure. The next one we're going to look at is the circumference of a circle. So we're going to use the formula for circumference of a circle which is c equals 2 times pi times r and remember that pi we're using the value 3.14. So we have r is equal to 3. If we plug in, we get c equals 2 times 3.14 times 3. I'm going to go ahead and multiply my whole numbers together first. 2 times 3 is 6. And I want to multiply that by 3.14. So this is going to be applying multiplying decimals. We want to do it longhand. So 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8. And 6 times 3 is 18. We have a total of two decimal places, 
So I'm going to make this 18.84. So our circumference is 18.84 inches. Since this is the distance around the figure, it has regular units. Okay, for problem 31, we have find the unknown length of a right triangle. We want to plug into the Pythagorean theorem. Remember that the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. From there, we're going to simplify using order of operations and then take the square root to get rid of the square. So if we plug in, to our formula. We get 12 squared plus 16 squared equals c squared, our hypotenuse squared. 12 squared, if you're not sure what that's equal to, let's go ahead and multiply it out. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Add, we get 144. Similarly, for 16 squared, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1. If we add this, we get 6, 15, and 2. All right, 144 plus 256. We get four plus zero, four plus six is zero. Carry the one. One plus four plus five is 10. So we get zero, carry the one. And one plus one plus two is four. So we get 400 equals c squared. And now if we take the square root, what times itself equals 400? And the answer is 20. So we get c equals 20 meters. Okay. Last problem we have, we have find the unknown length of these similar triangles. We want to set up a proportion by lining up related quantities vertically and horizontally. Our related quantities are the same figure or corresponding sides. And finally, we want to solve the proportion. Okay, so um, I'm gonna cheat on this one. I don't wanna do this more than we have to. Uh, if you notice, these two sides here are the same, and so y is equal to the same as 3. Okay, so that just means we need to find x. So in order to find x, we're going to go ahead and set up our proportion. So we get... x is related to... 3 in the same figure, and x is related to 3 based on corresponding sides. What does 3 correspond to in our smaller triangle? It corresponds to the 2. So if we go ahead and cross multiply now, we get 2x 
equals 9. We can divide by 2. And let's go ahead and convert this to a decimal. 2 goes into 9 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract, we get 1. I'm going to add a decimal point and a 0. And 2 goes into 5. We bring our decimal point straight up into our answer. And we get x equals 4.5. Centimeters. All right, so that takes care of our problems involving geometry. The next presentation we will look at um, operations with signed numbers. So I'll see you back soon.